What's up kids? I am trying something different just to see if you guys are into it or not into it. But what I thought I would do is, is set up a little bit differently and instead of actually doing like a full on demo of a product or even a quick listen, uh, do more of kind of my impressions uh, of uh, say an overdrive pedal delay, whatever it ends up being. Um, just to give you an idea of, of how I tend to approach uh, demoing a pedal from the beginning, how I discover it. Um, and in this case, uh, Dan Electro sent me a pedal called The Breakdown to check out. And from what I can gather, um, it seems like it's it's kind of a, a, a treble booster or maybe even like a six position uh, range master style pedal, which was really popular, uh, especially in the 70s on the Zep stuff and things like that. So I thought, well, why don't I go ahead and you know set this guy up and just kind of uh, discover it a little bit and uh, see what you guys think. So in this case, because I know that this is going to be more of like a treble booster style pedal, I don't think it's going to be that great or as good through a clean amp. So my inclination is to start with a slightly dirty tone. <laughs> And what you're hearing is my Rev D20, um, and I've got it set to break up a little bit. The IR that you're hearing is a, uh, it's a Rev IR. I believe it's a, a 4x12 cabinet, kind of a Royer 57 type of mic model. And that seems to make sense with a pedal like this. It's got six positions, and from what I can gather, it's going to go from... Uh, kind of tame, maybe just adding a little bit of mid bark. It seems like it adds more low end and gain as you click through the positions and uh, we'll mess with this volume control too because I have a feeling that's gonna have a little bit of effect on the type of gain that you're getting out of the pedal. I'm using my uh, PRS DGT, I love this guitar. So yeah, let's just turn it on first position and see what we get. So is it boosting? Okay, so right now I've got it so it's bumping just a little bit above what would be considered unity gain. So it's not adding a lot of gain, but I'm hearing like a mid bark there. And for me, it's like, well, I like a little bit more gain, but I like that voice. So let's try just turning up. The volume. Now I am hearing a little bit of hiss, a little bit of noise floor there, but it's not bothering me. Ah, that's better. And definitely a, a low end happening. Let's go to the next position and see what happens. Okay, bigger, more gain. Maybe that's a little too much gain. Can turn down the input or the, sorry, the volume. Oh, that sounds cool. That's starting to sound really ampy and not like a pedal. <laughs> And yes, these are the only chords I know. Okay, next, let's try three without touching anything. That's adding a lot more low end. Let's try four. More gain, more low end. Let's see how that sounds tapped.
I tend to just naturally go into solo mode as opposed to rhythm guitar mode because that's a little too much low end for a track. But if I'm just going to take a solo, sounds really cool. Okay, six, that's the highest one. Okay, so for me, that's too boomy. Let's back off the volume and see what happens. It helps, but... Yeah, that's pretty punchy in the face. Clipped it. Sounds cool for that. So I think this pedal's really, actually, I'm impressed with it. Um, it's very ampy. One thing I want to try is what happens. We go to the first setting and just start gunning the volume. See, I really like that approach. Um, that's how I would recommend using this pedal, but it depends on what kind of amp you're using. Uh, actually, let me do this really quick. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit cleaner on the D20. That's a little cleaner because I had it set uh, like that. So let's, yeah, let's go cleaner and just see how it sounds into a kind of a cleaner voice. It sounds good. But I, I definitely think, and, and as it should, because there's nothing wrong with this, uh, definitely likes uh, higher gain amps. So for the heck of it, I don't know how my Friedman's set, but it is on. I'm going to hit uh, five, I believe, on my amp switcher. And what's my Friedman doing? This is a uh, Dirty Shirley, the, the 40 watt. Yeah, let's see what happens just in that first setting. I think this pedal uh, definitely shines with amps that have a little bit of grit on them, just maybe a little bit of breakup to uh, something like what I've got going with the Friedman. I don't know that it would be good on a high gain setting just because it does add low end. So guys that are wanting to kind of push the front end of their amplifier set high gain, I have a feeling this would bump too much low end. It would, uh, if it was just mid centric, it would probably uh, work really well, but overall I'm very impressed with how this pedal sounds. It, it sounds really ampy. Um, definitely if you're a 70s rock guy, especially the Zeppelin um, stuff, uh, this thing would, would do really well. So yeah, I just wanted to try this and see what you guys think. Like I said, it's just this is how I, I work when I'm, you know, just kind of checking out a pedal for the first time. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. And I always appreciate you guys tuning in and I so appreciate uh, the support and uh, I can't believe I've got the number of subscribers I have if you haven't subscribed please do and hit that you know ring that bell uh, so you don't miss anything and yeah we'll see you guys uh, next time